what our car has to do now is to position itself very precisely over this charging plate. The tolerances for inductive charging are about 10 to 15 centimeters. As soon as the car is positioned exactly above the charging plate, it will communicate with the parking garage management system and the induction plate will move up and the recharge process can begin. Quick charge. If you want to recharge quickly, we have to use a cable-based system. Today, we can already do quick charge with a cable-based system. But when battery technology continues to evolve, and that's going to happen, we will have bigger capacities, battery capacities in cars, and we'll have longer ranges. And then you're going to want to be able to move that car again quickly, drive it again quickly. So the uh, capacities will have to go up quite a bit and the charges will have to be quick and that means the cables will be thicker and uh, more tough to handle. So we have a research project that replaces the handling by means of a robot and that means that people won't have to do anything at all anymore. You get out of the car, you then tell the system what your vehicle data is and you start the process. And now you can leave. The robot will grab or grip the connector from the charging station. It will move it over towards the socket in your car. It will detect with a camera the socket at within a tolerance of plus or minus one millimeter. And now it will very slowly, sensing things like a human hand does, put the connector into the socket in the car. It is locked in to the socket. And the gripper then moves back. In reality, later on, we can imagine that you would have several of these stations here lined up, one after the other. And of course, the robot would then move away from this station on to the next station and do the same thing there. So, the idea, of course, is to have just one robot for a series of charging stations. Now, when that car is fully recharged, there'll be a signal from the car to the system and it'll say, please come and pick up the connector. And now you see the process, it goes over there, grips the connector, unlocks it, and it'll pull it out and put it back into the charging station. The car will now automatically be driven away from the parking spot here to make that spot available for the next car to be recharged so that we can have the highest throughput possible. Imagine a system like this can be used not just at airports, you could deploy it at a shopping center and other parking garages like that. <laughs> 